Welcome to Caymanus Park Replay and Highlights Show, where we show the latest horse racing replays and results. Field in line. For the first of 11 they're off, Eddie's Princess staggers out at the back, Bruce Wayne also with the back markers, as a generational gets a good start and goes rushing up for that lead, Pareza racing down on the outside, there goes Special Counsel now to join them as they make their way toward the five. They're almost at the five, they're grouping up on the lead, generational on the outside, but special counsel takes a narrow advantage. Parezo has faded back into third spot, yet again on the outside of Wink's Choice. In behind those, that's Diosa de Oro, Bloodfire racing down on the outside as they leave the half mile marker and uh, make their way now toward the uh, 7 16th. It is special counsel, just the leader from generational as they go inside the final three furlongs and arrive at the 560th generational on the outside. Special counsel is the one right against the fence as these two now will turn for home. Parezo is toward the center and behind them yet again is down against the rail. But it is special counsel and a generational now battling these two heads apart as they make their way inside the final furlong and generational now gets a slim lead. Special counsel could be folding up on the inside rail but will attempt the fight back but it is a generational and Robert Halladine is in spanking form and generational now begins to open up over special counsel the generational will win it Parezo looks to get the second a one two for Anthony Newell's blood fire may have beaten special counsel and over on the rail that's Wink's choice For a long stay at the trip. Start is ready to Michael Simsy sends them on their way. And they're off and racing. Beautiful brand gets a good break. That's the one in the yellow cap and the purple. It looks to be the leader. So it's beautiful brand in front. Dotling also showing a good dash on the outside of beautiful brand. Left back a bit. That's little groovy thing. Right beside Little Groovy Thing, that JB Flyer. So it is Beautiful Brand. Robert Halladin takes them to the furlong and a half pole. Beautiful Brand in front and maybe in charge. Dotlin running in the middle, trying giving chase. Beautiful Brand still in front of Dotlin. And it's another one for Robert Halladin. Beautiful Brand beats Dotlin. Groovy Little, little Groovy Thing, JB Flyer, and Sweet Curlin. The universe in field in line, they're ready. They're off five furlongs round. Fair start, magical mood, cartel, and casual affair. These three abreast, they go for that lead. King's Magician just in behind them in the orange silks out wide. That's Asses Soup beginning to make gains as they go clipping past the half mile marker. Cartel has faded out just a bit. Alimony running in between horses as they dash away now toward the final three eighths of a mile. And it is a casual affair and King's Magician up front. Asses Soup racing a close-up third. Magical Mood is on the rail. Mr. Universe now beginning to make gains with Alimony under the pump. Cartel races on the rail. And it is at the back of the field. Beltane as they're into the lane and approach the final 3 16th. Casual affair. Attack now by King's Magician. Here's Magical Mood now with a flowing run down against the rail. They're in the final furlong. It is Casual Affair under pressure from Magical Mood. King's Magician has backed out into third. Casual Affair holding that lead and fighting off the attentions of Magical Mood. And Casual Affair will win and beat Magical Mood. King's Magician third. Cartel fourth. Alimony is fifth.
Ready for a start for Michael Sims. Five and a half furlongs, and they're off and racing. Lambarna steps a bit uh, slowly. Stacey's lady shows speed on the rail. 4,000 out wide. They're bunching up on the front end as they pass the five furlong point, heading towards the four. And it's Black Royalty. Black Royalty in front of 4,000 down in second. Stacey's lady is back in third. Now joined by Dash of Class, then comes Lyceum and Lambana racing at the back of the field. Right at the three furlong point, and it is Black Royalty dictating terms. Better than two lengths in front of 4,000. Right on 4,000 outside, about a length down. That is a Dash of Class. Stacey's Lady is right there chasing in fourth. Then comes Lyceum Lambana still at the back, furlong and a half to travel, and uh, on the outside. and. Coming on, on in the middle, that is a 4,000. 4,000 with the lead. Black Royalty still on the outside. Black Royalty in front of 4,000, putting in a spirited chance. But Black Royalty has this one all one. Black Royalty skipping away. We'll call this five lengths from 4,000. Stacey's Lady, Lyceum might be fourth, and Lambana fifth. Second eight, 4,110. Third, one, Stacey's Lady. Fourth, three, Lyceum. Two scratches earlier, six, Bangal Rebel. Now looks to be in field in line. The sent off immediately. First start, Prosecco took off quickly in the middle. As they sort themselves out, Jass and Blessings is also running pretty quickly and tacking across toward the center as they're spread right across the track. Will the Conqueror is in a handy position in the red cap as they make their way now with just about three furlongs remaining. Will the Conqueror may just be the leader over Jass and Blessings toward his inside. Lady Pujari runs near the stands with Colorado Ranger. On the far side, Baton Rouge now has to find top stride, but they're in the last quarter, and it's a will. The Conqueror being pushed out by Halladine to hold the advantage. Jass and Blessings getting cracks of that right-hand stick. Baton Rouge is also asked to get into the fray, but it's will the Conqueror who holds the lead with a furlong to run. Here is Baton Rouge now launching a charge. They race past the 16th pole. It's will the Conqueror out in front under a busy Robert Halladine. Will the Conqueror fighting off Baton Rouge. Will the Conqueror beats Baton Rouge, sweetie man. It's close. Prosecco may be in the middle ahead of atonement and jazz and blessings. They're off. She's so fabulous, breaks and heads right for the stand fence. Racing over there, too, in the green with a red cap. That's Curlin's Flight and a Rocket Lily. These three are near the stand fence. As they sort themselves out and make their way toward us. Quiet Boss is usually showing some speed and with the group near the stands. In the center, Heart of the Sea race is almost alone. Morse Code is racing over on the far side. In behind them, Whispering Magic already feeling the sting of the stick as they make their way toward the last quarter. It's still wide open, Quiet Boss running powerfully, Rocket Lily right alongside. She's so fabulous is the one nearest to us, in behind them in the green with a red cap, that's Curlin's flight, but Rocket Lily ha looks to have the overall lead with just about a furlong to run. Rocket Lily, a narrow leader, Curlin's flight applying tremendous pressure on the far side in the middle, that's Heart of the Sea, they drive toward the final yardage, and it is Curlin's flight, the leader from Heart of the Sea, a length down, and Curlin's flight will beat Heart of the Sea, Heart of the Lion is next, over Morse Code, close between She's So Fabulous near to us and whispering magic on the far side. The C 110. Third six, Heart of a Lion, 174. Fourth three, more scored. Fifth 12, she's so.
Field in nine and sent off. Five for a long straight. Boss Izzy gets a good start in the centre. Just toward his inside blue attitude, Commissioner racing right with those. Mr. Ambassador races with the group near the stand fence as they come charging up toward us and sort themselves out. Mr. Ambassador is showing some a very good speed in the early exchanges. As they come charging up now toward the uh, final three, Sly Stallone is near the rail, along with o Oka Humpka. These are the three main contenders at this stage as Mr. Ambassador holds the lead inside the last quarter. On the far side, Blue Attitude asked to get going along with Commissioner and Boss Izzy. Nearest to us, Oka Humka and Sly Stallone, but it's all Mr. Ambassador continuing to pour on the power inside the last furlong. Approaching the final 16th, it is a Mr. Ambassador running away from them. Mr. Ambassador and Philip Parchment will take it convincingly in the end by maybe 10 lengths over Sly Stallone. Then Blue Attitude, Boss Izzy, a breaking storm is fifth. Dub event 359, Super Factor 336, 158 triples, 1898. Curandera comes in and we're ready, ready for a start. They're off and racing. One mile the trip. Just at the back of the field, that's three-card guy as Shanae shows speed and goes for that lead from Curandero on the outside as they pass the seven right on the rail. That is expeditious with that group. As they go towards the six furlong point on the course, it's Shanae passing the six with that lead. On the inside, that's expeditious toughness right in the mix along with uh, my smoky Curandero. Then comes a silent cat and uh, laboring at the back as they pass the five, that's three card guy. They go towards the four furlong and it is Expeditious who shares the lead with Shanae. Expeditious goes on about a length and a piece from Shanae in second. The toughness is right there too. Silent cat is racing in fourth, four lengths away before we come to my smoky. Then come Curandero. And the three-card guy catching up with Curandero there. Coming to the three furlong point and making the running. Skipping away by four lengths. It's expeditious. Making his intentions clear. Coming around on the outside. That is toughness right against the rail. And coming forward, that silent cat. It's, it's still in front. Expeditious. Silent cat not going away though. Expeditious trying to get off. Silent Cat switch towards the inside. Expeditious tying up a bit. Silent Cat looks dangerous on the rails. Expeditious looks to be finding more of furlong to go. And Expeditious kicks once again and goes about his business too. Maybe three lengths. Silent Cat nothing to offer. Expeditious goes on to score. Silent Cat is second. Toughness is third. My Smokey is fourth. And Shanae is in fifth. This is the Supreme Ventures Jamaica two-year-old stakes. Field in line, it's a mile, they're off. Fair start. Diesel toward the back, along with a giant wheeler, as they settle into the run. On the far side, Perfect Brew comes through. There goes Power Ranking as they leave the seven, rushing up to challenge for the lead. DZ is racing near the rail, and these three go at it. Golden Wattle and Brinks race as a team in behind. Giant Wheeler begins to make some ground. Take a punch second from the back, and last of all, it's Fly Messenger Fly as they leave the six and run toward the five. A DZ showing some speed. Leads by a half a length over Power Ranking. They leave the five and head to the half mile. Perfect Brew is just in behind them in third. Brinks on the outside coasting along. Giant Wheeler progresses on the rail. Golden Wattle, the filly race is right alongside. Then take a punt. And last of all, it's Fly Messenger Fly as the tempo will quicken on the run passing the 7-16th. 
It is Adizi, just the leader from power ranking. Perfect brew, and on the outside, hidden that springs. These four in a tight grouping as they leave the three. The Philly Golden Wattle begins to stalk them and is edging closer as they come flashing past the 516. The Tekka Punt and Giant Wheeler race together, and at the back of the field, it is Fly Messenger Fly, but it is Perfect Brew, just the leader. Brings settle down in behind. Over against the rail, that's Deezy and Golden Wattle in the green cap now begins to run at them on the outside. They drive toward the final furlong it is perfect brew here comes golden wattle on the outside and golden wattle the filly now picks up the lead from perfect brew brinks is over against the rail it is golden wattle opening up a length over perfect brew it is golden wattle what a surprise she wins it over perfect brew close between dz and brinks in behind take a punt is fit Get for the Christopher Chris Armand Sprint Trophy. They're off. A She's a Wonder comes out at the back with the Bannon Duke being hustled up. God of Love shows speed. Father Patrick in between horses. Victory turn three wide. Nuclear Noon is two lengths in behind them. Duke now asked to get closer with Laban making ground and overtaking Duke. So too She's a Wonder overtaking the trailer Duke. They're at the 716th at the Christopher Chris Armand. Victory turns, strides out powerfully by two and a quarter lengths over Father Patrick. Nuclear Noon stalking them. There goes Laban moving quickly on the outside. God of Love and She's a Wonder race next. And Juke has more running to do as the field will come thundering into the top of the lane. A quarter of a mile to race. And it is Victory turn, battling to hold the lead. Father Patrick and Nuclear Noon now throwing down challenges. Laban is racing out wide. Over on the rail in the red with the yellow cap. That's God of Love. But Father Patrick leaves the furlong pole with that lead, hounded by Nuclear Noon and Laban toward the rail. That is God of Love, Father Patrick driven to the max. God of Love creeping closer all the while, but the wire's here, and Father Patrick wins it over God of Love, Laban. Victory turn, Nuclear Noon. $55 to win, 77 to place. Second number two, God of Love, one hundred and seventy-four dollars to. They're all in. Field in line and sent off. Air of Fire gets a good start as they sort themselves out and make their way toward us. Eagle One is running in the center. Coming over toward the stands, Patriarch in the red running quickly right against the stand fence. That's Salvation. With that group under the stands, Loose Ball is also up with the fractions. Ras Emmanuel asked to progress, but they charge away now toward the final quarter, and it's Patriarch and Salvation who go at it. Eagle One in behind, the rider now becoming a busy man and asking for everything as Patriarch has the overall lead as they leave the quarter pole. Salvation is chasing. In behind them, Eagle One asked to gather momentum along with a loose ball and a Ras Emanuel, but the action is nearest to us, and it is Patriarch and Robert Halliday, they're running away from them. Salvation chasing Eagle One, coming with a late charge. Patriarch holding on to the lead. Eagle One beginning to fly on his inside, but Patriarch has it. Halliday has a four-timer. Eagle One is second. Ras Emanuel third. Salvation fourth. Loose ball is fifth. Third, 10, Ras Emanuel, 218. Fourth, 11, Salvation, fifth, nine, loose ball.